Hi, I'm Benjamin Bell of This Week with George Stephanopoulos, and I'm joined today by Representative Keith Ellison of Minnesota. Hey there, Ben. How you doing? He's the first Muslim elected to Congress, and we got a lot of questions on his faith. And so the first question comes from Terry Renee DeVar Howard, and she says, what attracted you to, to Islam? Well, it's, uh, it's, it's universal acceptance of all people. Uh, you know, I'm not saying that no Muslims are, are racist. Some are, certainly. But the faith condemns it and is very explicit about accepting people, whatever your color, ethnic background, or anything like that. Uh, so the unity and acceptance of humanity is something that I think is really important. The next question comes from Linda Sk Skoronsky, and she says, I would like uh, to ask him what day-to-day -day life in Congress is like for him, considering there are so many narrow-minded people serving people these days. I think she's talking about being one of the only Muslims in Congress. Is that uncomfortable for you? No, it's not. I mean, uh, she might be surprised to know that I get along really well with all of my colleagues. Usually, uh, things go along just fine. Sometimes, when it comes to issues of intolerance, uh, there are issues. But I found myself able to walk up and talk to nearly everyone. I mean, I've, I've approached Peter King. I've approached uh, even Michelle Bachman about things that have come up regarding uh, issues that I may have had with something they were reported to have said. And both of them have been open to the conversation. We didn't necessarily agree, but uh, we walked away both feeling respected. Um, the fact is, is that we are in a time of polarization because America's polarized. I mean, on the general issue of polarization, you know, no, never forget that when, uh, when Joe Wilson yelled out, you lie, uh, he got a lot of campaign donations across America for that. And, uh, you know, when people on uh, the Democratic end say something inflammatory, you know, we get support, too. My point is, America's polarized, therefore Congress is polarized, and we've got to figure out how to build a new national consensus around how we all count and we all matter and are all part of this American family. Okay. And the final viewer question is from Pat Healy, and he says, do you think there's too, are there too many politicians talking about religion, as we talk about religion, but is there too much religion in politics? No, I don't think religion has uh, gone beyond its, its, its traditional role as contemplated by the Constitution. Congress says, I mean, the Constitution says Congress shall make no law establishing a religion. And I don't think it has. It also says Congress shall make no law abridging the free exercise of religion. That means that, you know, the Constitution recognizes that Americans are civic beings, but also religious uh, people, too and that it's okay to be both, but you can't impose your religious views on everyone else. I think we're, I think every now and again, you know, we, we blur the line, but in general, we cut the right balance whenever it comes to these issues. Okay, so now it's time for our, our lightning round, and the first question is, name an issue that you and the president disagree on. Well, the, I, didn't, uh, I didn't agree when the president threw out the issue of social security uh, being subject to chain CPI, which is a reduction in, in the uh, way we count inflation. Uh, it would lead to a lower Social Security payment or a lower Social Security cost of living allowance for seniors and veterans, disabled veterans. Uh, the president, I, I know, was simply trying to induce Republicans into a negotiation regarding sequester. So I know why he was doing it, but I don't think it's right to put Social Security on the bargaining table. And I told him that. And uh, he told me why he did what he did. Uh, I, I, uh, so that's one thing the president and I don't exactly line up on. Okay, uh, and your favorite thing about Minnesota, where you're from? Oh, wow, the people. The people of Minnesota are warm-hearted, generous, inquisitive. We got the highest voter turnout in the country. Uh, you know, even though I come from a pretty democratic district, people challenge me every day about my votes. They offer their views on what I should be doing, and it's a really engaging political environment. Okay, uh, most likely 2016 presidential nominees, Democrat, Republican. Okay, Hillary Clinton and uh, Chris Christie. Okay, Chris Christie. Uh, and finally, your guilty pleasure. Oh, my guilty pleasure. My guilty pleasure, I would say, is chocolate. I really like that. It's good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Something everyone can sort of understand. Yeah. Um, well, thank you so much for taking time to answer viewer questions today, Congressman. We appreciate it. And thank you to everyone who submitted their questions for the Congressman. You can follow the show on Twitter at This Week ABC and follow the show on Facebook at facebook.com slash This Week ABC. Thanks, Ben. Thank you.